Hi friends, I wanted to share with you something amazing that happened to me overnight. So in meditation last night, I intended, I asked to see more, to know more, just to receive more. And then it took a really long time where I was just going in and out of deep states and not really getting into it, but I stuck with it because I really wanted to receive whatever it is. I was just open to it. And then I got the name Casadina. <laughs> so I looked around and it wasn't very much. Somebody um, mentioned that Casadina was a goddess. Um, and then this morning I was led to um, a friend saying that I am more associated with like the angelic frequency. So I looked up and I found uh, Archangel Cassiel. And in, in that description, he is the one to bring illumination, <laughs> which is so perfect because in that meditation, I felt energy go into the Ajna chakra. The third eye is right here and the Ajna is right here. So that's where the energy came and also into the uh, center of the left hip, which in the Kabbalah, the Jewish mysticism tree of life, that is Hod, H-O-D. So it's all coming together very slowly. But this morning I was outside just looking up at the sky and all of a sudden I see little tiny bubbles like tiny fat bubbles and then pinpricks of light and these bubbles are just like floating and moving and disappearing and appearing and they're just everywhere in the air in the air <laughs> it's just little and I was like oh my gosh is this air vitality globules <laughs> that I've read about in the prana energy healing, pranic energy healing books by Master Choa Koksui that Master Stephen Ko talks about. So then I asked um, Sifu RJ Wright, who is a wealth of, of knowledge, and I encourage you to check him out and ask him for any questions or anything. So uh, that was vital energy that I saw. That is the source energy, the prana, the chi floating in the air that I saw with my physical eyes, like with my eyes open outside, looking out into the gray blue sky because it's cloudy today. And um, I wanted to show you a picture of what it looks like. So this like zoomed in, these were very, very tiny. And then behind them were even tinier, just pinpricks of light and they were just sparkling everywhere so they were moving floating and dancing they were active they were not stagnant they weren't staying in one place they were disappearing and appearing big round bubbles they're tiny but they were like fat you could tell they were just floating bubbles and pinpricks of light um so with the conversation with sifu rg Wright, he said with qigong you breathe that energy into your body and charge it up with more vitality. So that's why when we go outside in the fresh, alive air, we feel revitalized, rejuvenated because there's so much fresh, vital energy in the air. Also there's ground prana, ground vital energy that the earth emits, and also there's solar vital energy that the sun emits for us. And with he said, with Qigong, you breathe that energy into your body and charge it up with more vitality. Um, so the outside fresh air is energized. And when I was indoors looking outward, I did not see the vitality globules. So I don't know why. <laughs> so he said, then when you see it, the vitality globules, you alchemically raise its vibration to astral chi. Then from that to akasha. And from akasha, you raise into light. So uh, I hope he will do a video on this because I completely want to learn more because I've read about this stuff, but I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so I read in um, Pranic Energy Healing, there's air vitality globules, ground and solar. And I'll read you a passage from the book. Um, so I was asking him if they have different colors of light because the one the air ones that i saw the air vitality globules were clear clear no color just like clear or white um so 
he said that vital energy is more black and white. Astral energy is dependent on your relationship to it. Like fire is red, water is blue, green is air, sky blue is earth brown, and astral emanations are usually greenish for him. So that makes complete sense because there's advanced pranic energy healing and in there it's a color prana, using color prana and color energy. Um, that's probably why color uh, therapy works. So these were, I also got a sense of like, these are the colors that we see in meditation because I see violet, gold, um, and he said golden light is holy light. I knew it, like I had a feeling that golden light was like the angels. Um, okay, so then I'll show you the books. Okay, I'll show you the book. So this is Pranic Healing, and in here on chapter 10, Color Pranic Healing, it says, Advanced Pranic Healing uses pranic color healing and chakra pranic healing to re produce very rapid healing and cure difficult ailments. Um, air prana, solar prana, and ground prana are made of white or general prana. Air and ground pranas are called vitality globules in esoteric parlance because when seen clairvoyantly or by a person with slightly more sensitive eyes, they appear as small spheres or globules of light. Vitality globules come in different sizes. Some contain more units of white prana and some contain less. Ground vitality globules interpenetrate the ground and extend several inches away from it. They are denser and more closely packed and usually bigger than air vitality globules. Some of the bigger air vitality globules can be easily seen just by staring at the sky for a few minutes. That's what happened to me. And if ground prana is bigger, I'm going to I'm going to try seeing it. Especially just before sunset. It is very advisable that you look at the sky after um, an hour after sunrise and an hour before sunset. The color um, and the light from the sun is very important for your eyes and your overall health and well-being. So you do not need to be a clairvoyant to be able to see air vitality globules. A lot of you will be able to see them in a few sessions, so it just takes practice. Also, with more practice, you'll be able to see ground vitality globules just a few inches away from the ground. So then there, he goes into color pranas. Color pranas, a vitality globules, are conglomerations of units of white prana, which will be able to be measured one day. Measuring vital energy and the amount of the unit of, so we can help heal more accurately. Um, they're absorbed by the chakras where they are digested and broken down to their components. When white prana is digested, it produces six types of colored pranas that correspond to the colors of the rainbow. A substantial amount of air prana is absorbed directly by the spleen, um, the left under the ribs, front and back. So the air prana is broken down to different colored pranas and distributed to the other chakras. Ground prana is absorbed through the soul chakras. That's why it's important to keep your floors and your feet, your souls clean, so there's no barrier to absorbing ground energy and distribute to the other chakras. A portion of the ground prana is directed upward towards the spine. 